I am so excited, you guys, to finally spill the tea. Oh. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, tips for all shades of a mom life. And in today's video, you guys, it is time to spill the tea. I've been dying to share this tea with you guys. There are so many plans coming up for 2021 and I wanted to kind of just sit and chat with you. I usually do like a sip and chat, but I didn't bring anything to drink with me here this time. But I did want to sit and just kind of let you guys know what's coming up and almost like a little life update of what's going on with us currently right now. So I wanted to discuss with you guys what was going on with me health wise, where we are as far as buying our new home and moving. And then I wanted to discuss with you about the little soft cookbook launch that Vanessa and I put out for you guys just about a week ago. So I'll save like the life update kind of stuff for the end and let me just get out the stuff out of the way that I promised you guys I would sit and chat with you a little bit more in detail about like I said what Vanessa and I just kind of soft launched. So for a really long time we have been working on this cookbook and maybe we should have started to let you guys know a little bit ahead of time instead of kind of blindsiding you with this new news that we were putting together a new cookbook but it was really fun for us because it was something for us to focus on during this COVID time. I don't know about you guys but COVID hit me really hard. I know a lot of people can sympathize, but for my mental health, it did a lot for me. Just the inability to be able to go out and socialize and kind of learn my surroundings and what was going on here. I just moved here. Like we didn't really know who, what, where, what's the best place. We were just kind of getting settled in and getting a feel for where we lived and stuff. And then all of this happened and it just kind of I don't know, it contains me in an area where I was out of my element. I'm not disappointed in the choice that we made to move here, but I do think that if we were in South Carolina during the time that COVID first hit, things probably would have been a little bit different because I just would have had different resources available to me that I didn't have here just because I didn't know about them. Like I said, we were all still so new. So when all of this first happened and we found out like, hey, we're probably not going to have the kids go back to school and we're gonna be home with them, for the next like it's summer break already I already could see that I needed something extra to focus on I mean that's why I started this channel to begin with because I was stuck in that mom life rut every single day of just being a stay-at-home mom and so I needed something to focus on and I already had you guys but like that wasn't enough not when this first went down I just it was a lot for me to know I wasn't going to go home and see my family and all of that. Like it just, it was a lot for me. And so I called V up and said, Hey, what do you say about us still putting together another cookbook? We had always talked about wanting to do something else. We enjoyed our first cookbook and I will never knock what we put together in the beginning but we were novice at doing that and with everything you do in life you get better and better as you practice right I mean that's what we teach our kids practice makes perfect and so the more that we kind of divulged into this and the more that we were able to learn and read up on I mean I started reading cookbooks I've never read a cookbook before I buy them I skim through I choose the recipe I tweak it to fit, fit my family and then I move on but I started reading reading them, like physically reading them, appreciating their photography and how that they structured everything. And I learned so much that I want to be able to do that again. On a complete side note, you guys, if you're new here and you never saw my very first video, I'll link it. It's like a two minute video where it was just kind of letting you know, like a channel trailer. It's literally four years old. And I'm in a hoodie sweatshirt leaning on the kitchen sink, trying to finally come up with something to say. I tried a million times. I didn't really know where I wanted my channel to go or what I wanted to say even. So it was like, 
it's a rough video for the first couple of minutes that it just, like I said, is giving a quick briefing about who I am, but I've always had a passion for food. This is something that I knew I wanted to do since I was a little girl. I always watched the Cooking Network. That was like my favorite thing to watch when I was younger. And I think I was nine when I first asked for my first like pots and pans and that Christmas I got everything my mom cleaned a little cabinet out for me in the kitchen I got a pasta maker a bread maker my own set of pots and pans and I just knew that was going to be my passion and so throughout most of middle school all of my electives were, were all culinary arts and then once I got into high school I did the BOCES program where I did all culinary arts and I just knew all through schooling, all through everything. This is what I was gonna do in my life later on. And I pretty much stayed in that industry forever. I served and waited tables at places like Bickford's and The Diner, and I waited tables at TGI Fridays, and I bartended there. Uh, I actually met Daryl at Ruby Tuesdays, and he was the one who trained me to cook on the line. I used to cook on the line at Ruby Tuesdays. I kind of wanted to cross train for a while. I got a little tired of waiting tables, and I just kind of wanted to feel what it felt like to cook on the back end of the line so I pretty much dabbled in everything and my dream was always to take everything that I had learned and move forward I wanted to open up a restaurant but honestly unless I have huge capita that's never ever going to happen it takes hundreds of thousands of dollars to pick a location get permits for things it's just a lot and I don't really foresee myself ever really being able to do that fingers crossed maybe one day I mean I'll get lucky but I'm not really so sure about that but then I turned my ideas to a food truck and I was like yeah I'm gonna do a food truck it's like a restaurant on a smaller scale like that's what I was going to do and then mom life happened and I just never foresaw myself is that the right word uh, I never thought I would ever see myself doing all of those things I wanted to do fulfilling my dreams um, and then I started YouTube and I got a chance to meet these girls and we decided to put together our first cookbook and that was quite the experience and it was a lot and like I said it was you know pretty detailed and putting it on Amazon and all the steps that we had to go through for that process but it was a learning process and we had a lot of fun but this was just something different like now I had my feet in the sand and now I felt like I can really put out everything that I really wanted to put out to you guys to share with you family recipes and things that my family has been passing on down to me for generations like it feels so good to do that those were things I would do if I had a restaurant and now it's like being able to touch you guys digitally. I can't invite you into my restaurant because I don't have one, but I can bring my restaurant to you. And it just feels good to be able to do something like this. And honestly, you guys, if you have the same kind of passion and the same kind of dream, do it. It doesn't take a lot to be able to do it. You could do it too. Open up Canva, which is exactly what we used. Cook some food, take pictures of it, and share your family recipes. Even if you just do that, just to have it to pass on to your children, Children, the recipes that your family members pass on to you do it because it feels really good when you're done and you look at your work and you're proud of it it just feels good I don't know for me I'm really 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 proud of this cookbook but I've noticed some things since we've launched in the past week which is why I'm glad that I waited a week to sit down and chat with you guys a little bit more so that I can kind of gauge from you guys exactly how to move forward. So we didn't want to do Amazon again. I will do Amazon again. We've discussed this. If you guys are very super adamant about wanting that hardcover tangible copy and having it not be digital, digital, but Amazon took a lot from us. I mean, we worked very hard on that cookbook and then they pretty much take almost all of it because they're printing it, they're binding it, they're shipping it. It's prime, all of those things. And so we really just didn't make a whole lot for from each particular book sale. So we thought, hey, you know what? We'll still make a minute amount book sale wise, but at least we get it all and we're not giving it to Amazon. So we decided this time to do a digital version. And we thought that would be the best way to kind of hit everybody and get everybody to be able to get it at a more affordable price. And we weren't giving all the money to Amazon. So it just kind of made sense to do it that way. But a lot of you are asking like, hey, last time I got a signed copy, can I get a signed copy this time? 
I can't exactly sign a digital copy. So I was almost sad in responding to some of these people and saying like, no, I can't do that for you this time because we're only offering it digital. Even my mother-in-law texted me and said, hey honey, I'm on your website right now and I wanna buy your cookbook, but is it only digital? Like I wanted a hardcover copy. And I kind of like, sorry mom, it's only digital. You know, I, I, I can see that some people just like that tangible book and I understand that because I collect cookbooks. And so I totally understand about needing the ability to have that tangible copy. But have no fear, there is a solution. You can print it, which is exactly what I did. I took the digital version that is offered and I printed it and I stuck it in a binder. And look how pretty that looks. I love our cover. I think it's so much nicer than just us three girls posed on the front of it like we were a hot mess at the beach because we literally spent 48 hours cooking doing nothing but cooking all of this food and trying to photograph it for the cookbook and then realized we still had to take a picture together so we were all looking like a hot mess and that was all we were stuck with but this you guys is just the, I love the cover and I got a binder from Walmart I couldn't use one from the Dollar Tree because I wanted it to have like the peel away plastic so that I could stick the sheet of paper, you know, in the front for that. But I printed this right here at home, you guys, just a regular printer. Now, any most people have a Staples or an Office Depot or an Office Max, so you can send the digital copy that you purchase right to them and they have a pickup. It'll be done, all you gotta do is go in, pick it up. We did check the price for it to be bound and it was honestly not worth it. It was easier to just have it printed and then stick it in a binder, but I'm completely content with this, you guys, because all of our recipes are literally right here. And so here is all the recipes that you guys can get inside this cookbook, 60 of them and 20 appetizers, 20 drinks and 20 desserts, all dedicated to this holiday season. And then once you just get through here, then boom, it's just all it is, is, you know, our pretty pictures that we worked really hard on. And so we have our drinks, like I said, and then we have a, a ton of of appetizers and then our desserts which I'm excited to share with you guys because look for example see this that's my aunt right there the title of this recipe is Aunt Liz's S&O cookies that's actually a picture of her cookie like that she made this past Christmas when I was home she sent me that picture and I put it with her picture next to the recipe but it means a lot to share this because this is her recipe that she's been making at every holiday function, well, every Christmas gathering since I'm, as long as I can remember, a little girl. And so it feels good to share her recipe with you. Here, there's another one I wanted to show you. Um, I have my mom's recipe, which I've shared on my channel before. So I put a picture of her in there, but this is my favorite. So I've shared this recipe on my channel as well inside of a Christmas vlog. And that's my grandma right there. If you can see her, I don't know if it's focusing. It's hard for me to see, but that's my grandma right there. And then that's the picture of the super shooter that we used to press these cookies out. And I've had that super shooter for a long time. My mom has had one as long as I ever was growing up and we would always make these Christmas tree cookies out of the super shooter. I've actually vlogged me making all of them and everything. And it is one of those things that makes me think of her. So it's just exciting and I'm proud to be able to share these kinds of recipes with you guys, things that I've been cooking for a very long time, but for so many of you that seem discouraged that it was a digital copy, I wanted to show you how easy it was just to be able to print it and make it a more tangible thing that you can hold in your hands. But I still will include a poll right up here if you guys just wanna click on that poll and let me know, is this a cookbook that you would rather, would you rather cookbooks in general if we offered more in the future, would you rather them digital or would you rather them more handheld and tangible? Because if that's what you want, then Vanessa and I will do what we need to do to make you guys happy because at the end of the day, you guys are the ones that are purchasing them. So if you like the cookbook for $9.99, you can just get it digitally and send it out or print it at home or we can still charge the $20 that we charged originally and put it on Amazon and have have that hardcover available. So that's entirely up to you guys, but I'd love to see the poll results because I'm really, really curious. Now, 
because we didn't do Amazon this time, we decided to launch our websites. Both of us have had these websites since the very beginning of our channel. We bought the domains when we first started our channels just to make sure that nobody else bought them because you never know where it's going to go or if you're going to need it later. And so it sat pretty stagnant and I never did anything with it. And then I just figured, all right, now is the time. This is a really great place to be able to send you guys for everything so there is a blog section which i'm going to update at least once a week if not more and there is a register spot so you guys can actually register to the blog and be able to get email notifications when a new post is made and for you to be able to get any updates that are added to the website so i'm really excited about that because i have a lot of plans to use this website moving forward not just for blogs where i can share recipes direct links to videos that are in reference to what's going on on my channel for that week but I also can be able to add things to that shopping cart to be able to move with you guys moving forward so Vanessa and I had a pretty good idea and I'm thinking that you guys would think it's a good idea too because it took us two years well it's been two years since we released a cookbook it didn't take it two years to put it together but we've been working on it you know roughly about seven Seven months or so and it took that long to put together this kind of book and we were thinking maybe instead of compiling this big large book that maybe once a month at the start of every month the first of every month we would just release 10 recipes five from each of us on our website for purchase $1.99 for those 10 recipes and they will be completely gauged towards that month at hand so on January 1st we're going to release 10 recipes added to our website that will be solely dedicated to the theme of January and so just a little teaser it's a holiday detox because this cookbook is very very heavy on the heavy like this is Christmas cookies and cheesy queso dips and this is like everybody always puts on weight during the holidays right well this is why um, but that's why everyone's New Year's resolution usually on January 1st is to kind of start that clean ability to kind of put all the crappy stuff behind us and move forward with a different outlook. And so our January 1st edition will be a holiday detox. So it's just going to be healthy, clean food recipes so that we can kind of shed away all of the holiday and move on to the next stage. And then obviously moving forward, we'll choose each theme, but you know, I'm sure February will be something this year related around Valentine's Day and so on and so forth or just winter cozy meals and things like that and I'm really excited because that's something I that means I can offer something new to you guys on a monthly basis I can offer you blog posts weekly like those kinds of things excite me it, it gives me something to look forward to to really put my mind into and it's my job right now you guys this is my job. I mean, I've been sharing with you school related videos and stuff right now. My job is to stay at home and to educate my children, but we still want things in life. We're purchasing a home. We're going to need new furniture. The holidays are coming. I'd like to eventually travel home to see my mom, even if that means like renting a camper and driving there, whatever the case may be, I have things in my life that I want to do. And I cannot always rely on my husband to be the sole breadwinner. I mean, he is making a heck of a lot more money here than he was in South Carolina. So we are finally more than comfortable sitting where we are on just his income, especially since if you guys noticed, there were no big purchases after I sold my house last year. Like there's no new cars. There was no new furniture. We paid off every ounce of debt, my vehicle, his vehicle, every credit card, every everything. We paid off everything that we ever owed and we wiped ourselves clean slate. So that feels really good right now because we're living perfectly within our means. But anything extra, we want to do whether it be furniture and like I said vacations and stuff that's the kind of thing that my income would supply and right now being a full-time stay-at-home mom teaching my children I don't really have the option for that 
any little contribution that I'm able to give to my family comes from right here from putting out YouTube videos for collaborating with brands and doing sponsorship videos for doing things like cookbooks and being able to put my recipes together and then put them for purchase out to you guys. All of those things help me be able to stay home with my kids and not have to put them in school right now so that I can go out and work. So every little bit that you guys contribute to my family is amazing and I am so, so blessed for all of you who always continue to want to support our family. So that means the world to me and I am super grateful for it. But like I said right now, this is my job. So to be able to put out little monthly things at just $1.99, so it'll be super cost effective. But just to be able to put out little things like that, I've been working on merch, you guys, for over a year and I've had a solid person making me all of these things that I want to offer to you guys for months now, but it was the how. How am I gonna bring this to you? Am I gonna sell things out of my home? Am I gonna open an Etsy shop and sell things on Etsy? And then it just, it got to the point with, okay, use your website for everything that you wanna be able to offer. So eventually, within the next couple of weeks, you guys are gonna see some merch hit that shop on my website and just things that I'm able to offer to you guys that I'm really excited about. I enjoy this. I enjoy YouTube and I enjoy all the people that I've met throughout this journey, not just my friends. I mean you guys. You guys do so much for me in the comments, to my my family Jake read every comment from that video and although he stopped commenting he was doing pretty good but you guys kept going and so he kind of lost a little bit of interest in responding but he read every single one of them and it just I saw a difference in him you guys boosted his confidence just like you do me and I appreciate that more than you will ever know so I guess the bottom line of this you know update for this portion is just to let you guys know what you guys are getting in here your 60 recipes that are dedicated completely to the holidays like I said 20 drinks 20 appetizers and 20 desserts and all of that is offered right in the shop section of the 50 shades of mom.com website and eventually like I said you guys can register and it'll notify you guys of the blog posts and anything additional that I'm blasting out there whether it's merch or things like that and I'll make sure to let you guys know in a little bit more detail um no more soft opens that was just kind of like I said we were looking for a little bit of a wow factor because we had been working on it for so long kind of in secret that it just kind of made sense to kind of put it in something that everybody watched we were buying the items to make those things anyway and it seems like a great way to just kind of slide it in there we didn't want to throw it down anybody's throat that we were you know putting out a new cookbook or anything but now that it's out I wanted to be able to sit down and just let you guys know what exactly was coming in the future for my website and all the things that you'll be able to utilize my site for whether it's just for the shopping or for the blog posts or to be able to get to all of my social media will be is attached there it's a link to every one of those things including my Amazon store I know a lot of you guys shop my Amazon store so that's linked anything that involves anything I share with you guys will be able to be accessed right off the website so that was really exciting for me I wanted to be able to give you guys a heads up about that um, as far as how I'm feeling uh, I actually took all of my antibiotics you guys and I don't think in my 39 years of life I have ever finished an antibiotic and this time I was willing to do anything try anything. I just kind of wanted all of the headaches to go away. So I would say that by the time I went to the emergency room, my pain level was at a nine. Maybe the last time I talked to you guys, I was about down to like a seven or six. Uh, I would say that my headaches have resolved to about a two, some days even a one. Um, it's still always there and it kind of has never gone away. So I am going to seek a neurologist. Um, although 
I do feel like taking the antibiotic helped a lot. So maybe it is seasonal allergies. A lot of people wrote on my video and said, hey, you are not from here. I am from here. The allergies are awful. And it may take some time for it to kind of get adjusted in your body for the environment that is here. And it's true because I just hit a year of being here. So, and it's not like I spent the last six months outside breathing in the environment. So I do understand that could play a big part in it, but I am still going to seek a neurologist just to be sure. I would honestly hate to have anything more serious wrong with me. Of course, you start Googling things and you think the worst. And so I had myself like with a brain tumor crying on the way to the emergency room because I had no idea what to expect. But I was happy to hear that he thought it was other things that were more easier to tolerate like a sinus infection and some you know other infections and things that could just be cured by antibiotics so i was really excited with that obviously that it wasn't anything um that was so detrimentally obvious that it could have been something else but i am just gonna you know just seek not necessarily a second opinion but a more professional in the head area just to make sure that it's not anything else um as far as the house is concerned everything is done appraisal is done home warranty is scheduled um and now we're just still waiting for clothes as far as we are reminded every tuesday we get an update and as of this past tuesday so that would be yesterday for you guys we got a uh information update that we are clear to close so all we need to do is literally wait for the day and as long as everything is copacetic with our final walkthrough and everything goes you know fine there then we're still going to be closing in less than two weeks so it's about to get super super crazy and Madison will be here this weekend so a lot still going on a lot to share with you guys I literally have video content where I could put out a video every single day if I had the time to do all of that but as long as I'm feeling up to it and I'm able to bring it to you guys I want to bring it to you guys so I think I'm going to call it for this little chat um, but I do appreciate you guys always whenever I'm not feeling well or whenever I have new news you guys are just super amazing I've mentioned this a million times but I couldn't ask for a better YouTube family than you guys I really appreciate you every single one of you for everything and all of your support well, since we launched this cookbook your positive words the sales all of it has been really amazing and I'm really really blessed for you guys so thank you so much for everything you do for me um, and I will leave my website linked down below so you guys can go ahead and check it out and make sure that you register so you guys are notified of everything coming up you guys i'm hoping that 2021 is going to be different for us all i mean i kind of think it's a pipe dream to think that the clock is going to, to strike midnight and you know cinderella is going to return back to her original form and all of that and everything's going to kind of go back to normal but i just don't see that happening but i I'm hoping and my fingers are crossed and I think if we all kind of pray for the good things and not the bad things then you know maybe those things will actually happen but thank you guys so so much for watching I love you guys all so so much subscribe if you are new give this video a big thumbs up make sure you check the description box for everything new on the horizon and I will see you guys in the next one bye guys